Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm doing another clean with me video. I have filmed two previously on my channel over the past few weeks and they've got more views than my other videos. So I thought I would film another one. I might film them more often. I might do one a week. I don't know. If people still like them, I will film one every week. But today I have got various different things to do like washing up, cleaning my makeup brushes, hoovering, cleaning the floors, um, cleaning surfaces, that kind of thing, and clearing out my handbags I need to do. So I have a fair few things to do. I also want to wash my bedding, but my washing machine is broken, so I need a new washing machine before I can do any washing. I'm having to take my washing to my mum's, so that's not great. But I've had a shower, I'm all clean. I'm not wearing any makeup today, and I've got comfortable clothes on to clean. I enjoy cleaning when I'm comfortable, so... <laughs> that's important but I'm starting in the morning and I'm just going to show you what I get up to throughout the day so yeah I begin the day by washing up there is always a ton of washing up to do every single day and today there was loads of cups and mugs I'm not entirely sure why there were so many I literally used all of them that I own but I did watch some YouTube to keep me entertained today whilst washing up because I just need that entertainment. I quite like washing up. It's it's not something that I, you know, dread doing. It's something that I actually quite enjoy. I find it quite therapeutic. I'm not entirely sure why, but I do enjoy it. And yeah, I've decided to film a lot more cleaning videos because like I said at the beginning, people have been watching my cleaning videos more than any of my other videos and I do really love cleaning like I said I find it therapeutic I think it's like a way of taking your mind off of just anything really it's like something to focus on and there's a goal in mind which is like getting something from being dirty to being clean and it's just satisfying to see that and I actually get motivated watching my own cleaning videos so I will watch this video back and I will be like motivated to clean from this video Video. So I don't know if anybody else is motivated from this video, but I, I, I editing this video right now, I would just want to get get cleaning, which is funny. Um, but yeah, so if you're like me and you find videos like this motivating and you enjoy watching them, then um, let me know in the comments or give the video a thumbs up. Once I've washed up, I use the Method Anti-Back All-Purpose Cleaner, and this is in the scent Peach. I like to make sure that all of the surfaces are constantly wiped down because for some reason they get dirty really, really quickly. And I just wanna make sure that the sides are sanitized because obviously this is where food gets prepared. And also I don't like having crumbs on the side all the time. It's just really annoying. So I do wipe down the surfaces after I've washed up every single time. And I also wash my coffee machine as well because I like to have a coffee in the morning. I didn't used to be a coffee drinker, but quite recently and over the past kind of year, I have been drinking a lot more coffee than I used to. And I think that comes from working when I started my job, which I started where I'm working now about a year ago. Since then, I've had loads of coffees, so <laughs> maybe it's because it's, I don't know, a tiring job or something. No, it's not that tiring, but I do love coffee. Um, but yeah, as you can see, all nice and clean and a lot better than the before shots. So <laughs> I have stacked up about 50 trillion pots and I even had to use this black um, like sheet thing um, to put the rest of my cups on because there wasn't enough room. But I'm now glad that I have completed it all. I am now cleaning my laptop and my phone. I do this once every two weeks because they get grubby 
Reminder to clean your laptops and phones because they will get grubby if you're constantly touching them. I just use these wipes. I'm not entirely sure where they're from. I don't even know where I got them from because I don't tend to use wipes anymore. But I do have these glass wipes from Wilco and they're really good for wiping the screens. And I just try and get them really clean, try and get rid of any smudges and things just to make it look nice. And I just think it's good to clean your devices regularly because at the end of the day, especially your phone, that will contain a lot of bacteria bacteria so yeah I just if I write it on my list to do once every two weeks it will get done also when looking in the camera I noticed that my phone flashes like that but in person I cannot see the flashing so I was mesmerized by that like why is it flashing does anybody know like I can't see that flashing in person but I can on camera so yeah that's kind of creepy I have two handbags that I interchange between using. I've got this one, which is my bag that I take to work with me. It's from Primark. It was about 10, 15 pounds. And it's nice, beige and fluffy. I really love like fluffy um, things. Got fluffy bed sheets, fluffy pillows. It's comfortable. And I also have a slightly smaller bag, which I use kind of like when I'm not at work, just when I don't have as much stuff. And this is this blue bag, which I really love this bag. I got loads of compliments on this bag and it's £10 from Primark. So I would recommend. Again, it is also fluffy. I like how you can like wear this. So you can either wear it like this, you can wear it like that, or you can have it a bit longer like that. So yeah, I really like this bag, but I need to tidy them. So I'm gonna clean them now and declutter them and get rid of anything out of them and just make sure the handbags are clean because I cannot be doing with dirty handbags anymore. I like to make sure that my bags are clean quite a lot and quite often because they do get a lot of barley in them or like bits and bobs because I work in on the barley team of a seed company and I do give them a quick spray as well with this Febreze spray and also um, the Febreze fabric freshener because I just think that you know we don't consider our bags to be needing like a spray or whatever but I think freshening them up is really important. I did actually get rid of some random receipts and papers from these bags and I had some jewellery in them that you know was just randomly there that I didn't need in them so yeah I just made sure that they were decluttered and that they smell really really fresh and nice and yeah they are fluffy so it is easier to kind of just spray them rather than wipe them down because yeah, I can't really wipe these um, because they are fluffy and they'll just get soaked. The final little tidy up of the day is packing away all of the washing up that I did earlier and just kind of making sure that everything in my flat is nice and neat and tidy. I didn't get done everything that I wanted to do today. I wanted to do some hoovering and mopping the floors. I also wanted to clean my hamster's cage, but I didn't get round to doing that, which is absolutely fine. I will do it tomorrow, but I will show you all of those activities and all of those different things in the next video. In next week's video, it's going to be hoovering and cleaning out my kitchen cupboards. Bit random, but does anybody else love mango chutney as much as me? I got this because I had a curry um, or I made a homemade curry the other week. And yeah, I got some mango chutney and pop doms. And yeah, I love it. I even have it on crackers.
This is my once every two weeks cleaning session of my makeup brushes. In my last Clean With Me video, I mentioned cleaning them and reminding yourself to clean your brushes because they do hold and contain a lot of bacteria, which is not good to be putting on your face every time you do your makeup. And also the makeup applies so much nicer when they're fresh and clean. I also don't find that cleaning my brushes takes a long time. Like for me, it's really quick and I constantly brush them on the towel throughout the day. So I'll place them on a towel and I will just give them a bit of a brush and then every kind of half an hour I'll come back to them and just brush them and they dry really, really quickly. If I was to leave them on the side without doing that though, they probably would take a long while. But yeah, as you can see in the bowl, the dirty water is very satisfying to show that I have actually cleaned my brushes quite well. So this is something I do once every two weeks because I do do my makeup about five to six times a week. So I do do my makeup quite regularly. So I would recommend to wash them as regular as possible. Finally, I put on some laundry. My washing machine is broken, so I am risking it with this wash load and I just kind of put it on a bit of a spin cycle. It's got a drainage issue, but yeah, I did risk it and it did pay off, so it's okay, but the washing machine still needs fixing. But this is the last thing I did today, so thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next video, which will be a Sims video and then it will be another cleaning video. So thanks for watching and please subscribe. Goodbye.